over and over and over again. Now, the paradigm is literally controlling the behavior. Consciously, you can think of one thing, but subconsciously, the other idea will be controlling you. See, we can sit down and we can read these self-help books, we can listen to the recordings, and we say, yeah, well, I can do that. That makes sense. That's logical. But then we can't do it. Why? Now, think of this for a moment. I want you to imagine that you're going to accept an idea right now to turn your annual income to a monthly income. You say, well, I'd like that, but will you do it? Probably not. Your paradigm will stop you. See, your paradigm literally controls the results. Now, let's think of how the paradigm was formed. The paradigm was formed through repetition, the ideas being planted in your subconscious mind. Now, understand your paradigm dictates your logic. Your paradigm controls how you utilize your time. Your paradigm controls your perception of situations. Your paradigm controls your effectiveness. Your paradigm controls the amount of money you earn. If you want to change your life, you must change your paradigm. You see, to most people, it's illogical that they could take and turn their annual income to a monthly income. But if you follow our teachings, we'll show you exactly how to do that. We'll show you how to accomplish anything you want to accomplish because what we're focused on is showing you how to change the paradigm. When the paradigm's changed, your life changes. It's a beautiful concept. It's an absolutely phenomenal concept. Now you know why you're getting the results you're getting. It has nothing to do with your intellect. Your intellect, you can figure out how to do things. That doesn't mean you're going to do them. You'll hear people say, I believe that, but their behavior would indicate they've never even heard of it. Why? We believe something on a conscious level. On a subconscious level, the paradigm believes something else. There's a word called praxis. Praxis is the integration of belief with behavior. We've got to take the beliefs that we have consciously, that we determine by thinking, and plant them in the place of the old belief. See, I used to believe that I couldn't do anything better than I was doing. I felt fortunate that I was on the fire department. The idea of building a company that operated all around the world, furthest thing from my mind. But you know something? As I changed my paradigm, my whole world changed. That's what we do. That's what it's all about. You've got to change your paradigm if you want to change your life. Now, you can study all you want. If you don't gain an understanding how to alter that program, and that's what the paradigm is, it's a program. It's a multitude of concepts that are fixed in your subconscious mind that literally control your behavior. It's a beautiful concept to understand. It's a terrible one if you don't understand it because it literally controls your life. Why do you think most people go right through their life and keep getting the same results year after year after year? Well, it's just the way it is, and they don't know. We should be taught this in school, but we're not. How is the paradigm formed? Through the repetition of information. How's the paradigm change? Repetition of information. Now, let's suppose you're having a difficult time with money. You find that you've got more going out than coming in. You've got to change your concept about money. How do you do that? Through the repetition of an idea. That's where affirmation comes in. I'll give you one I've been using for years. I am so happy and grateful now that money comes to me in increasing quantities through multiple sources on a continuous basis. I am so happy and grateful now that money comes to me in increasing quantities through multiple sources on a continuous basis. You don't just say that once or twice. You've got to repeat that maybe a thousand times a day, every day for maybe 90 days, and you'll start to change your whole concept about money. Wealthy people all have multiple sources of income. Now, I'm going to tell you what happened to me. I drove around with a battery-operated record player and a long-playing record, and I played it over and over again every day for probably a couple of years. This was so totally illogical. It was behavior. Everybody thought I was losing it. And I'm reading the same book every day, Think and Grow Rich. As a matter of fact, I'm still reading the same book. And it was the repetition of Earl Nightingale's information and the book that changed the paradigm. I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't understand what I was doing, but I did it. Do you know, I had a man come up to me in the Waldorf Hotel in New York, the Waldorf Astoria, at the end of a three-day program. And he said, Bob, I really want to thank you for what you've just given to me. He said, for the first time in my life, I've understood how I accomplished what I did.
I said, what did you do? He said, I won the gold medal in the decathlon in the Olympics in Melbourne, Australia in 1957. That's right. Milt Campbell. And he said, I never understood how he did it. He said, the next time you run a seminar, I want to bring my boys. And he did. Milt and I became great friends. In fact, Milt has a key to our house. He can come stay there anytime he wants. I live in Toronto. He's in New Jersey. But here was the top athlete in the world, a very best athlete in the world. He didn't understand how he got there. Most people that are very accomplished cannot tell you why they are. That's why they are. They've rewritten the program. They changed the paradigm. They might not have understood how they did it, but they did it. That's what our company is all about. We teach people how to change paradigms. I want to thank you for watching this, but I'm going to ask you to share it with other people. Share it with them. Say, come and watch this. Start a rapport. Build a rapport with people, you know? It's a great way to live, and this is great information to understand. Thanks for listening. This is Bob Proctor. I enjoy sharing it with you.